guys, today I'm doing a special occasion um, smoky eye and I had a lot of fun with this look because I'm using glitter first of all and since the holidays are like right around the corner then I feel like right now is the perfect time so you can like test it out and see if you like it the cool thing about this look is that you can also change the colors um, so if you don't like blue you can do like purples or pinks or greens um, any fun color that you can think of so I'm gonna be going step by step on how to achieve this look and trust me I know it looks a little difficult but it's really really easy so I had a lot of fun I can't wait for you guys to see it and if you guys do get a chance to recreate it you guys know that I would love to see it so leave me a video response and I can't wait to check it out and I will talk to you later bye so now the main colors that we're using today are from the smoked um, Urban Decay palette and we're going to be using a few colors here um, we're gonna be using this one for the highlight which is kinky um, evidence for all over the eyelid and a little bit of blending with this green one here which is loaded and we're also going to take Rockstar and this one up here so we're going to be using a lot of colors to achieve um, this smoky eye this one here is the pro shadow and this one is number 14 which is just a flat um, shader brush and it's great to apply the color all over the lid and where you actually want the smoky eye part to be. So we're gonna take Evidence, which is a dark blue, and I'm gonna start by patting it down because it's a dark color. And the less fallout, the better. And you wanna make sure that you stop this color where the crease is. So you can just kinda tuck your brush into the crease and just follow it all the way around. So it's perfectly even. I'm just going to take a little bit more of the blue and I'm actually going to start by patting it where I want it, which is basically going up like this. So now I'm taking brush number 27, which is the Pro Blending Brush, and I am just going to lightly start by working this color all the way around the edges so it's nice and smoked out. Next I'm taking the Pro um, Gel Liner Brush and this one it's really small but I'm actually not going to use it for gel liner today. I'm going to use it to pick up Rockstar which is the purple one and since it's really small it really lets me get into my bottom eyelid without over loading it with color. And it's just going to go all the way around. I'm also adding mushroom to the inner corner and this one is a lot more sparkly or I, I should say like metallic-y so it's great for the inner corner of my eye. Like that. Now we're going to move into highlight and for highlight I like using this brush here which is a smudge brush and this one is brush number 11 so here it is and just take the highlight of your choice I'm going directly from the palette so this one that I'm using is called kinky and that's just gonna go right underneath my eyebrow alright so now for the fun part we're gonna add some glitter and you're just going to need some um, glitter adhesive which you can find anywhere and I'm just going to put it on to this little plate, just like that. And I'm also taking this glitter, it's more like an aqua color and I feel like since it's in the same family it goes really great with this um, smoky eye. So this is just going to be the fun part and I'm just going to set that aside, you can find glitter anywhere for the eyes. And to apply the glitter, I'm actually using um, the shader brush, and this is brush number 18, which is a lot smaller, and it just helps me pick up the glitter really easily. Um, so all I do is just go into the gel on one side, and then I just go into the glitter, and then you have something like that. And that's going to go all over the eye. Now, what I'm going to do is actually start by patting it down, because again, this is glitter and it's hard to clean up so you don't want a lot of fallout. So a little bit it's okay but not a lot. So I'm going to pat it down first. The eye already looks a lot more special. I love playing around with glitter all the time. You want it to be condensed a lot more towards the center and the bottom 
Um, and then once you get to the edges, just kind of use what's on the brush already. And also just kind of tap it here on the brow bone, just to add a little bit. So I'm also taking some dual eyelash adhesive and um, this is going to be for my false lashes, so I'm just going to take some back in the same tray. This is dark tone because it dries uh, matte black. This step is really important for a smoky eye, so you want to line your waterline and you also want to tight line the top. So let me just do this. Next I'm taking my Sephora mascara and it's just black and one thing I like about this one is if I wear it during the daytime alone, it almost makes my lashes look like I like I have false lashes on, like in a good way. So um, I'm still going to put on false lashes today but I'm just going to give my top and bottom lashes a few coats. And this one is called Outrageous Volume and I am using black which is called Ultra Black. Uh, moving on to the face, um, what I'm going to do is just take some wipes and I'm just going to wipe my face down because I have some glitter fallouts and I definitely do not want to mix this with my foundation. So, um, just go carefully underneath the eye. So now for my foundation, I'm using my Naked Skin from Urban Decay and if you're like an NC40 from MAC, um, I'm shade number 7 and it blends in really well. And, and I'm also using brush number 56 from Sephora which is the uh, Flawless Airbrush I believe. Yes it is. So it's this one here and it's a really great brush to apply your foundation. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my foundation and just kind of like shake it. And I just like to take it and kind of put it onto my brush like this. That way. It just stays on the top and it doesn't sink in so you don't directly uh, put it in. So I am going to work on the bottom part of my face first. So now we're going to move on to concealer and for concealer I'm using this palette from Makeup Forever. This is the number two um, concealer palette. And this one's actually kind of light for me, but I like it because I can take this brush, which is um, the Pro Precision Concealer Brush. Um, and this one here, which is the, dar the darkest color in the palette, it's actually kind of light for my skin tone. But what I like about it is that it really opens up this area of my face. So I, I actually really do love it for concealer. And you'll see why. Anyway, so this brush that I'm using, it's really great also because it's like really small and tapered. So after I do my eye makeup, I can really get in there without disturbing the um, eyeshadow. Yeah, you can see how this eye is a lot more awake, or so it appears. And I'm going to drag it down a little bit like this. Alright, so next I'm taking the Pro Airbrush. And this one is number 55. And I'm actually just going to set the concealer. And also the rest of my face. Now I'm taking brush 73, I'm actually going to add a little bit of color to my face. So I'm just going to take a matte, um, matte, ooh, bronzer, forgot the word. And I'm just going to hollow out the sides of my face and kind of create like a C shape here to just bring some, um, kind of make me look like I went out and got a suntan, just lightly. And for the lips, I'm using this um, Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. This is um, shade number two. And since the lips are, I mean, the eyes are really out there, I kind of want to tone it down with the lips. So it's kind of like pinkish nude. 
and I'm just gonna put that on. It's so creamy, I feel like I only need it at the bottom. I'm just gonna add some um, gloss, and this one is kinda like in a gold color. And that's just gonna go on top. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this step-by-step -step process on how to achieve this really fun um, holiday-ish, I would say, because of the glitter um, smoky eye. And if you guys get a chance to recreate it, I would love to see it. And also, don't forget to check out my website, which is dulcecandy.com, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!